Hello again, everybody! Zagatech is here with my attack line for Thursday, May the 2nd, 2013. Alright, let's kick it off with some sad news in the world of hip hop today. As a member of the famous 1990s print size rap group, Chris Cross, Chris Smith, aka okay, Mac Daddy, died at the age of 34 last night. He was found in his Atlanta home unresponsive by uh, 911. Now, the autopsy's not done yet, but there's been several reports that drugs, and specifically cocaine, were involved in the death of Mr. Chris Smith dying at the age of 34. According to a police report, the police said that Chris apparently took drugs the night before. Cocaine and specific other drugs were mostly involved. That's what the uh, police report said. And even his mom believed that drugs were involved as well. Of course, Chris Cross were known for the one hit. For many people, jump. But minor hits, like Warming Up, The Bomb, and many others, they reunited not too long ago the other member of Chris Cross, reunited with Mr. Smith. And of course, the So So Deaf 20th anniversary this past February, which was of course hosted by the former mentor of Chris Cross, Jermaine Dupree. So it's a sad story to hear. Chris Cross, like I said, not that big of a, they only had that one big kick the jump, but it's very sad to hear about this this guy's death. I saw the video of their reunion not that long ago, and uh, thoughts and prayers and condolences to the friends and the family of Chris Smith at this time. Uh, actually, Chris Kelly. Yeah. Chris Kelly's the one who died. Uh, sorry, I said, may I say Chris Smith? I meant Chris Kelly. Chris Smith was the other member of the group that's still alive. He did release his own statement saying that Chris Kelly was my best friend. He was like a brother. I love him and will miss him dearly. Our friendship began as little boys in first grade. We grew up together. It was a blessing to achieve the success, travel the world, and entertain crisscross fans around the world with my best friend. It is what we wanted to do and what brought us happiness. I will always cherish the memories of the sea connection. So... There you go. R.I.P. to Chris Kelly. A.K.A. Mac Daddy. I think I said Chris Smith in the beginning of the video. I apologize for that confusion. Chris Kelly is the one who died. Chris Smith still alive. From Chris Cross. Now, on with another sad death related news. Of course, uh, while hip hop mourns the death of Chris Cross, country fans are still mourning the death of one, the possum, George Jones. Today was his funeral. Held at the Grand Ole Opry House in Nashville. It was aired on GAC and broadcasted through radio stations across the country. I did not get up really early for the funeral. I catched like the last half of it on television when Winona sang How Great Thou Art and when Kenny Chesney had a speech. Of course, many country fans and stars gathered at the Grand Ole Opry House at noon, such an Eastern time, to honor the great. George Jones, many people were there, including Ken Rock was there, Charlie Daniels, I mentioned Kenny Chesney, Brad Paisley, uh, Bubba Mandrell, Mike Huckabee of all people, and Ronnie Millsap, and a lot of songs were sung, and a lot of testimonials by a lot of people. And even Brenda Lee showed up. Saying that I've lost a great friend, the Lord has lost a great voice, it would not be forgotten. I like I said, I did see the end of it, like Kenny Kenny Chesney speech. It was a good speech, you know, like you know, talking about memories of touring with George and doing some shows with him and saying that I was just a little boy from Tennessee growing up on his music, then I'm like standing next to him, touring with him and being friends with him. And that's what a lot of country people feel like. That Today's country people like Winona and Kenny and Brad, they probably listened to George when they were younger and they never thought they would um, work with him. Kid Rock makes sense because Kid Rock kind of mentioned No Show Jones and American Badass. You know, David Allen Cole and No Show Jones, indeed. So, once again, thoughts and prayers to the Jones family at this very sad time, of course. Nancy was there. Even Laura Bush showed up to in the audience I saw from the photos and videos. So there you go. George George's funeral was today in Nashville. 
and of course the death of Chris Cross member Chris Kelly. Now on with uh, country related news. The CMT Awards are going to take place on June the 5th at 8, 7 central. That will be a Wednesday. Uh, we know two things. We know Webneck Island, the new season with, with the Stone Cold Steve Austin host. 10.30 is the time after the show. We know until today who's hosting. Well, that problem's been solved. Kristen Bell is hosting for the second year in a row. Following her lackluster performance last year with Toby Keith, she will get a new partner. I didn't think they were funny last year. They were not that good. The hosting job. I hope that Kristen finds better chemistry with her new co-host, Jason Aldean. They just revealed it. Uh, Jason revealed it on his Facebook page, a picture of him and Kristen. Now, Kristen announced she was hosting first. Then it was announced that Jason's hosting with her. So as of right now, those are the hosts. And Kristen Bell tweeted about it. Who be my co-host? He need to be to take a night train, make on the show on time. She kind of hinted it. Of course, Jason Aldean's got a lot of controversy on his hands. Thanks to his most recent divorce, he of course divorced his wife early in the month, uh, early in the week, following allegations of cheating with American Idol alumni. So, uh, no one of the nominees or performers will probably find out the nominees soon to come, probably in the next couple weeks. And of course, performers. So they're going to vote the host for the CMT Awards, Kristen Bell and Jason Aldean, for June 5th at 8 on CMT. Now, got some other Music Awards show news on the Billboard Music Awards. Now, they add more performers today, including J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, along with recovering from his most recent seizure, like I mentioned on yesterday's attack line, Lil Wayne, performing with Nicki Minaj, I'm guessing they're performing high school, along with Chris Brown, who's, of course, now only headlining Summer Jam in New York City, also announced the release of his new album X to be on July 16th. And also, Ed Sheeran, Akon, Neo, David Guetta, and I kind of pop. No for the hit, and I love it. Seriously, I love the song. I love it. So, Of course, those performers will lead already previous announced performers. Taylor Swift, I'm guessing, since Taylor announced that her new single is the duet on her album Red with Ed Sheeran. I bet you Ed Sheeran's there to do the duet with Taylor. Not official yet, so we'll probably find out official word later on. Uh, Bruno Mars, Miguel, JB, Pitbull, Christina Aguilera performing together, Selena Gomez, Ben Perry, McLemore, Ryan Lewis, Casey Musgraves, and Prince. Those are the performers who were already added to the show. So it should be a fun show on Sunday, May 19th at 8 on ABC to be hosted by Mr. Tracy Morgan. Speaking of shows on ABC, my thoughts on last night's Modern Family. Finally new Modern Family after a few weeks off. Felt like an eternity, like I said on yesterday. The act line, no duck dynasty though, but new Modern. It was a good episode last night. You know, the episode surrounded about, I'm trying to get the theme of, still trying to get the theme from last night. Like trying to do things that, like try to do new things, yet you end up, they're not working for you. Like, Jay tried to be a typewriter in the episode last night. Uh, Phil Dunphy's wife, Claire, got off the phone. Thorpe guy, the enemy of real estate. And even uh, Claire did join him, but quit after his ego got the best of him. Got, got the best of her. It was a kind of a funny episode. And the two fairy story with Lily getting a $100 bill by mistake. And, of course, Cameron Mitchell not wanting to spoil... The fact that the two fairies not real, trying to make her believe in some way, shape, or form, because she's just a little kid, blah, 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 blah. It was a good episode last night. Great way to return after a few weeks off. Of course, a few more episodes to go of the season. Wednesdays at 9 on ABC. Can't wait to see the rest of the episodes to end the season. Now, on with my TNA Impact Wrestling review for the night. And our top five questions that must be answered for the evening. Question number five. Where we'll go down and finally the exhibition qualifying max. This week. Now, I thought it was going to be last week. We would see the return of Chris Saban. But it's actually tonight. We get to re get to see the return of Chris Saban. Back in action. In the X Division title qualifier. He will be taking on in the triple threat, of course. Zima Ion and Sanjay Dutt. So those three will compete to see who will be the next to be involved in another triple threat match for the X Division Championship. I like the, the rules now. Like, every X Division match is a triple threat. I like that. Makes it more of a spot fest. And more fun and exciting. And more opportunities to people. Especially with people like 
Chris Saban coming back. And of course, we're going to find out the next couple weeks the uh, on the clock people, including Rockstar Spud, Rashad Cameron, and of all people, suicide on that poll that was revealed last week for the next qualifier take place in two weeks in Tampa. Now, question number four. We'll go down to knockouts tag tonight. Well, we're going to get Aaron Terrell teaming up with Mickey James to take on Gail Kim and Tara. Of course, Tara Terrell has beaten both Gail and Tara in the last couple weeks. Specifically, beating Tara last week on Impact. Of course, Mickey James just lost her title match last week against Velvet Sky. Of course, Mickey James has a country album coming out. So we'll see what goes down in that tag match tonight. Question number three. Who will be the number one contender for the one title at Slammiversary? That's what they're saying that tonight. Big news on Slammiversary as the main event will be revealed. The person who will be the new number one contender for Bully Ray in the world title. Now, Hardy's out for now. So who knows who's going to be the new number one contender for the world title. We'll, we'll all find out tonight, won't we? Question number two. Who will Kurnigo call out an open challenge to do Ace and Ace? Angle's been, of course, the center of attention. More, mostly a brunt of the attacks from Ace and Ace, especially getting screwed out of a triple threat match a couple weeks ago. I had a handicap match with him and Bischoff and uh, Presco. But tonight, Kurt Angle is issuing an open challenge to any member of the Ace and Ace. Who will answer it? Which member will face him? I say Anderson or Devon or Knox. It's tough to pick of which Ace and Ace member is going to accept the challenge of Kurt Angle tonight. And the number one question that must be answered tonight, what will go down between Hulk Hogan and Sting? Now, Sting and Hogan's relationship still on the best of terms, following, of course, Sting's abrupt departure, following his relationship with Hulk Hogan breaking down in the aftermath of Bully Ray's betrayal on Tina. But as we saw last week, and I predicted it fully, that Hulk Hogan was going to get the one-on-one -on -one competition with Bully Ray, and I say he's going we're going to settle upon him. Set up the ring and surround the ring. And then Sting would come out and try to help Hogan, which Sting did. But he still has problems with Hogan. The Hogan-Sting problems are still yet to be solved. So we'll see if Hogan and Sting can finally patch up the differences. Or not tonight. Athena Impact Wrestling tonight at 8, 7 Central on Spike TV. Of course, it'll still be from Indiana, Pennsylvania. The one that was taped. Because last week was live, now it's taped. That's it for the tagline for today. I'll see you all later tonight for my Athena Impact review. With that in mind, you've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Thanks again for watching. See ya. Yeah.